Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. Or the, well, for some of us, the spring equinox. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? I want to thank you to Carrie for the donation that she sent to PayPal. Thank you. I appreciate that. So what do we have for a message today? Fool reversed. The lovers. Four of Wands reversed. Judgment. So we got four cards. And three of them are majors. So there's something that is happening that is universally driven. Universe is in control. There's some sort of karma here, okay? So there is some sort of karma. There is an absolution, okay? So there's a life-changing decision that is being made in regards to a commitment, in regards to a foundation. There's a life-changing decision that is being made. Judgment call. Uh, this is an unexpected choice in love, right? This is a big, major choice. We have somebody that may have missed an opportunity. Uh, they are looking at the opportunity that they missed. They may have already been in a commitment. Maybe they were in a commitment now, you know, they didn't know what to choose. Um, they may have already been attached or something like that. There is another option. There is a better match. This is a perfect match. There's some sort of connection, okay? There's a, some sort of, uh, well, maybe it's even a past life connection. There's, because of that judgment card, something from the past. This could even be a reconciliation between soulmates, okay? We may have a soulmate reunion here, okay? Um, somebody may have been foolish. They may have made a reckless decision, you know, a poor decision. Uh, they may have been naive. They may have gotten themselves into a commitment uh, for all the wrong reasons. They may be wanting forgiveness. They may want a reconciliation. This could also be the end of a contract that... Um, somebody got into impulsively. They may have jumped into a contract, a commitment, you know, impulsively. But judgment is the end of things. It's making a judgment call uh, based on the truth. Um, there could be some truths that are revealed, okay? This is an epiphany. It's an awakening. So somebody may be getting some sort of epiphany, you know, this is my perfect match. It's meant to be. This is meant to be. Um... And I feel like this opportunity was missed in the past. So, um, there is probably some sort of separation that leads to a new beginning. That four of wands is, it's a messy situation. Somebody got together with somebody, I think, for all the wrong reasons. They may want forgiveness or they want another chance. Judgment is a chance. Somebody may be, uh, they need to take a risk. They need to take a risk. There could be some fear involved. But they do feel some sort of, I feel like it's a spiritual connection to somebody. And I feel like they need to separate, because this is a choice between two, okay? They, they need to separate from a previous commitment to come together with this soulmate. This is a soulmate connection of some sort. This is an unexpected choice in love as well. With somebody that you probably feel very, very familiar with. It's easy, somebody that you're easy to get along with. I, there, you know, it feels like 
we have um, unexpected. It's very unexpected. I think we have an unexpected uh, connection here. This is just very, very strong, you know. Um, Definitely thinking about walking away. Somebody has been thinking about walking away from a previous commitment, a marriage, a partnership. They've been thinking about it and they're about to make a decision. This is a final decision. This is the verdict, right? Somebody probably got themselves into a karmic relationship. This is a wake-up call. This is ready to be judged. Somebody is ready to be judged for their foolish behavior. And they're in the process of making a decision right now. They feel a deep connection, but it will require walking away. So this is thinking about it. And maybe this person may be guilty, may feel guilty for being impulsive, for being naive, for acting stupid. You know, the full reverse is somebody that is, you know, does something stupid. Anyhow, this is wanting to go back. There could definitely be a reunion. This is somebody coming back. Maybe wanting to come, wanting another chance. They've left. They want to come back. They want another chance. Somebody wants another chance. Now, this could also be somebody new. It could be somebody new, but because this is unexpected, this is this is like an angel that are that is bringing two people together. These two people are meant to be together. This is definitely a wake up call of some sort. Ooh. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead, and there's fear here. There is fear. It's interesting because we have death on the bottom. So we got, we got, now we got one, two, three, four, five majors and seven cards. So the universe, this is totally universally driven. The universe is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. But, and it will require an ending. This is an ending. Endings lead to new beginnings. This is a separation. It is a loss. This separation and loss leads to a new beginning. It does. Somebody has been hiding something. Okay, maybe they've been hiding their feelings. All is not as it seems. There's, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead and there's fear. There's fear. There may be fear of not being accepted. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. You know, um, there is there is uh, something below the surface that is about to pop up. Okay, it is definitely about to pop up. It feels like somebody doesn't want to lose somebody. They don't want to lose somebody to another commitment. to somebody else. But there is a loss here because that death is a loss and so isn't that four of wands reversed. So there could be a breakup. There definitely could be a breakup because there is a better option here. There is. This is kindred spirits. These are two people that have shared values that have been brought together for a reason. There is some sort of deep connection. It's deep. It's very deep. There could be fear of walking away from the whatever this commitment is that they are in. Fear, fear of not being accepted. There will be acceptance though because judgment is card of forgiveness and acceptance. So there, somebody needs to face their fears. Extremely fearful. So yeah, we got somebody here that needs to face their fears. They need to follow their heart. So, you know, death is the death of a situation. There is going to be a profound change. This is a time of transformation. This is an ending with a new beginning to follow. So there is an ending with a new beginning to follow.
okay? This is the beginning of a new life. Somebody could also be leaving a commitment without saying goodbye, okay? They could. They could be doing it like on the fly, you know? There could be a return. I feel like there's a return here. It's almost, I want to say returning home, whatever that means to you. There could be some unfinished business with that fool card reversed. And that Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like there's some unfinished business that needs to be dealt with. Act now, think later. This is somebody moving very, very fast. They are taking action. Somebody is about to take action. They have this sudden desire to do something. This is somebody that is very passionate. This person is going to be replacing their fear. They're going to let go of their fear. Somebody is going to let go of their fear and they are leaving behind somebody that they have been committed to. But I think that they were committed to this person for, it wasn't real, okay? The moon is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. They may have been in a deep, dark place. They may have been in an illusion. The whole thing might have been an illusion. And the moon is a card of hidden forces. And there's definitely hidden forces here. There are hidden forces that are bringing two people together that are meant to be together. And action is going to be taken. This is act now, think later. We got somebody that has this desire. They have this vision. They know what they want. And they are going to face their fears. They're going to be going after something. They're going to be asking for a chance. They may be asking for forgiveness. This is the end of things. It really is. This is a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a life-changing decision about a partnership, about a union, because they have another option. They've been thinking about this other option, and they're about to go for the other option. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to be held accountable. Because they feel the chemistry. There's chemistry. There's a strong connection here. So somebody's about to come together with a soulmate that they have a past life connection with. Too. King of Cups reverse and the Hermit reverse. It's, there's fear of rejection here. The Hermit reverse is fear of rejection. We got there, and there could be a re. There's gonna be a reconnection. There is. We have somebody that is about to come out of hiding. They probably haven't been communicating. They've been withdrawn. They've been fearful. They haven't been following their heart. But I feel like this person has gone through some sort of awakening or something. And they want to reconnect. There's gonna, that, the hermit is coming out of hiding. It is. It's for somebody that could not master their emotions. They could not communicate for some reason. Maybe they needed to think about it. They needed to think about and plan for the future. Maybe they just weren't following their heart. But there's loneliness here and there's sadness here. This person has been lonely and they have been sad and they haven't had the emotional content that they need to really survive at an optimal level. I do feel like somebody has become wiser. They have. I feel like they have become wiser through isolation and I feel like they are going to be... Uh, coming out of hiding 
Okay, somebody's been hiding their feelings, and I knew they had. And it's because of fear. It's either fear of rejection or fear of growing old alone, fear of not being accepted, you know, something like that. But anyway, I do believe somebody is leaving behind a previous connection, a previous commitment, and they are headed towards a soulmate connection, okay? And it's going to happen fast. Somebody has been thinking about it and they feel guilty. This person feels guilty. They do feel guilty. They feel guilty for making a foolish decision. They feel guilty for uh, getting involved with whoever it is that they got involved with. They do. I just want to reiterate that this could be somebody new. It could be somebody that is coming in out of nowhere. The Knight of Wands is somebody that is very passionate. That uh, I'll be, I feel like they've run into somebody that they feel very, I don't know. It feels like this is such a strong pull. It's such a strong connection. I have to go for this. And, and when I say reconciliation, that could be somebody brand new that you have a past life connection with that you are going to be reconciling with. Okay, this is a soulmate connection. I'm positive. So we have somebody here that is about to uh, enter. Okay, they're about to enter the scene and they're about to take action. They're just going to do it. They're like, you know what, i got to do this. This is what I want. I'm going over there or I'm going back or something like that. There is some sort of truth that is going to be revealed. It is life changing. Good luck. 